Chase. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's your next tip. In this example, we have a pair of pliers, and we just want to see what stresses they'll experience and how they'll react in use. To test that, we have this simulation set up where they clamp down on this bolt, which is fixed to a wall. We have a number of contacts and connections set up, as well as our loads, so let's try and solve. It starts to solve, but then we get hit with this excessive displacement warning. We don't expect that, so we know something must be wrong in the setup. Most likely, something isn't being constrained enough. I'll right-click on this connection section and select Find Under Constrained Bodies. With this open, if I hit Calculate, it'll start solving again, but this time, when it stops, it gives us a list of bodies that have degrees of freedom. When I click on this rotation degree of freedom for body 3, we see this green arrow in the graphics display showing how it can move, as well as a simple animation. With our intent for this simulation, the pliers should stop on contact with this bolt, and with the forces that we have, they shouldn't move away either. I'll go ahead and create a new component contact bonding the bolt and the grip to ensure this. Now, when I run the simulation, it's successfully solved. Thanks for watching. Contact me with any questions and I'll see you tomorrow.